Hello and welcome back to my channel of Welshman Reviews. I'm Gareth and today we're going to be looking at the new Steelbook release for Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is the Disney Plus uh, series. It is, so we're continuing on from the last slot, uh, last one we done, which was uh, Winter Sol uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So we got this one now. And if I'm not mistaken, we got Moon Knight and... I can't remember what the last one is, to be honest. But we have got another two more come in. So hopefully more after that from the Disney Plus shows. So let's open this one up. It's again an another beautiful looking thing. Uh, Steelbook. Be here. Um, I did like this series overall. It's not the best, to be honest. A, a lot of hit and miss on the episodes. It does finish strongly. But the build up of it is a little bit slow and a little bit uh doesn't f feel like it is as a finesse finesse finish overall with the style and all that like and always as war to me it felt a little bit cheap to some of the set pieces in this but overall i did like it i did enjoy seeing uh Hugh McGregor back as Obi Wan, Hayden Christensen back as uh, Darth Vader. It is all the actors did a pretty good job in this movie. So yeah, the end, the last few episodes makes up for more of a dodgy little uh, beginning of the series. So let's have a look at this steel book now. So as they all do, come in this nice little pouch, uh, J card and that, and then we have a little bit on the back beer. What you get, how uh, what all the parts are. A little bit of the fight there between Vader and uh, Obi Wan. A little write up as well. What you get to see, bonuses, etc. for this. So, beautiful steel book. Another nice little matte finish there as well. Like the uh, the big duel there between the two with the lightsabers and a young uh, Leia who makes more of a prominent uh, appearance in this series as well. More than Luke. Luke, I think, is only in there for. A, two scenes pretty much like in the beginning and pretty much end kind of bookends the uh series but again very nice looking steel book reminiscent of all the others you have the main picture in the background and then you have like a, another picture in the middle of the characters and that so pretty much like them all and then on the back end we have uh you mcgregor riding his little uh or not so little uh horse or camel type creature i don't know what it's called i'm sure it's it's got a name out there somewhere and uh, they're on tattooing but uh, i think that's moss Eisley in the background i could be wrong it is but again beautiful picture it is very nicely drawn indeed it is and then as the others do you do get a little artwork from the movie so that's when vader comes at the end of the series and yeah obi-wan rescuing uh leia i think he's rescuing leia been a while since i watched this and that but yeah another good scene but there and then uh bail organa if i'm not mistaken talking to a young leia on alderan so nothing on the back so a couple of uh, nice little cards but there and as you get from all you get the two 4k discs with the movies on But there when you got obi-wan and vader on each disc and then you have the two blu-ray ones which you have the republican uh symbol and the empire's a symbol on them so that's very nice to see in them and then on the inside then we have the vader obi-wan thing as we saw on the back of the j card as well so beautiful inside art as well so like i said overall very good steel books. I am enjoying seeing these come out. I am being a completionist as I am, so I like to see them all come out on steel book myself. And that it is. I know they're alienating some people who just like the the plastic cases, etc. But I do like these and all, and the artwork on these are absolutely stunning. So yeah, another great uh, pickup. Uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below and if you'd like to see more videos i guess please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye